G'day YouTube, Four Nines Fine Silver here. Sorry guys, run out of film. Have to make it a part two. Righto. All right guys, my wife's just gone crook, said that you all like watching me prepare the mold, so I've done it only halfway. I get my, uh, my sock. Does everyone know what it's filled with? For those who know, put it in the comments. For those who don't, read the comments. Okay guys, top goes on. Try and get some finer sand. I've left my sieve inside, so never mind. We'll do our best. Brush it up. I'm just making sure I had the video on. Thankfully it is. Alright, bit of pressure. pressure all right I want to talk to you as two one of my uh, friends in the comments has left me a message saying and reminding me about how dangerous molten metal is now my sand is a little bit porous so it gives room for gases to escape but when it comes to green sand and delf clay and those ones that you buy, sometimes they're not quite as porous as you'd like. And if you don't put your own vents and things like that in it, there's a chance that when you pour the metal into it, it'll spew back out like a volcano. And it can be extremely dangerous. If molten metal gets on you, it's the same as getting molten lava on you. And it's going to give you one heck of a burn. So please be extremely careful. I know I don't wear the right safety gear, but I'm going to start doing that just because I know that there's a lot of people out there watching. So now I have a pair of leather gloves that I'll put on just to protect myself and to protect you, my viewers. So what we do now is we take this apart, have a look, it's looking extremely good. I'll remove the bear. And we'll put our top back on. Oh, oh, I don't need to put the top back on yet. Firstly, we need to cut a, a hole through it. So I'll go through his back. I'll cut out the, uh, the funnel, which is called a sprue. And cut that around there. And what that does when you cut it out, it gives it a little bit more force. It turns it into a funnel which directs the metal down the hole. So I'll smooth that over. As you smooth it, what it does is it prevents the metal from sticking to the actual thing. And then you'll make sure your hole is completely neat and tidy so you can see down it. Beautiful. Now we'll put it back on. I normally like to give it a gentle roll over the top just to make sure there's no uh, air pocket in there or escape so we don't get uh, a lot of excess metal. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get a brick. I'll put it on the brick. I like to have a bit of height when I'm pouring because it just makes it easier for me. 
but whatever suits you do. And then I'll put this metal onto a brick as well. Hopefully I'll set up the camera to make sure that you can all see that, which you can't, so. Uh, no, that's not gonna work, guys. All right, that seems to be a bit better. All right, so I'll get my water bucket set up. Can you see that? Yeah, yeah that's not too bad. Rightio, what I'm going to do now is fire up the, uh, the torch again and prepare the metal. When the metal's melted, just before I pour, I'll turn you back on. So wait there a second. Looks like it may have worked. Only one way to find out. Flip it out. Ooh, look a bit of smoke. Let's have a look. A little scratch. Oh, I see a leg. Let's knock it out. We'll dip it off and we'll uh, give it a wash. Just brush this off so I've got somewhere to put it. Give him a wash off. Alright, he looks pretty good. A few little dags, but not too bad. Alright, I'll go and give him a scrub off. Cut off the usual bit. Maybe trim up that foot. And I'll bring him in and show you. Righto. Yeah, guys. He came out beautiful on that side. But unfortunately, not so good on this side. Look, he's got a little hole in his stomach there. His little front leg. I wasn't overly pleased with the front leg. He's got a pretty good little face, though, if you can get the light in the right spot. He looks a little bit like a, a beaver instead. Anyway, back into the melting pot. At least we know the crucible worked. And, uh, yeah, it wasn't so hard after all. So I reckon you guys can do it, no problem. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one. So that's it from me. So don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.